Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are making cake pops that only require three ingredients, four if you wanna be extra fancy, maybe even five if you're extra, extra fancy, but basically three ingredients, cake pops, they're Oreo cake pops and there's no baking, so if you like Oreos, if you like cake pops, if you like chocolate, this recipe is totally for you. So first thing you want to do is you wanna add your Oreos to a food processor, so Oreos are your first ingredient. Then all you're going to do is you're going to pulse your Oreos until they are finely crumbed up together. You can also probably use a blender for this step. Add in your room temperature cream cheese, that is your second ingredient, and you wanna pulse this as well until it comes together like this. I've added this batter to a clean bowl just because I don't wanna deal with that blade in the middle. Gotta be careful, you don't wanna cut yourself. That hurts. So, don't ask me how I know this. I've I've cut myself plenty of times with that food processor blade and it's sharp. So basically using an ice cream scoop or a melon ball scoop, sometimes I get yelled at because I don't call it a melon ball scoop. Basically it's a tablespoon and a half. You want to scoop out your batter. You want to squeeze it in between your palms and form it into a ball. All I've done was I've lined a cookie sheet with some foil and I'm just adding it to my foil. You don't have to add the foil. I just didn't want you guys to look at how beat up my sheets are or wash these dishes after I was done. Listen, when you're baking, you go through a lot of recipes. So if you find that your batter is sticking to your scoop, just scoop it right out. Use your fingers, get dirty, do your job. <laughs> so you're gonna get around 20 of these little Oreo balls. Not quite as many as we usually get when I do my other cake pop videos, which I'll link above for you guys if you guys are curious. So next, I'm using white wafers or chocolate candy melts and I'm just melting them over my makeshift double boiler. It's just a saucepan with a little bit of water on the bottom and a heat safe bowl on top, melting them over medium heat. Once they're all melted, I dip a cake pop stick, just the tip of it, kind of like here, and I dip it into my cake balls. Super simple, kind of go around halfway into your cake balls and then you just want to keep doing this to every single one of them, super easy. If you're finding that any of your cake balls are cracking, kind of like this, just pinch it right back together. Place these in the fridge for around 20 minutes. Next, you're going to be needing some styrofoam or some kind of cake stand or something, so make sure you got that ready. Next, all I'm doing is I'm adding my candy melts. By the way, candy melts was my third ingredient. I'm adding my cake pops to my candy melts. I'm only working on four at a time, so I pull four out of the fridge, I dip them into the candy melts, I twirl them, and I use my fingers to break the fall because if you tap your cake pops directly on the glass bowl, it'll kind of pop the tops off and you don't want that, so use your fingers to break the fall and pretty much you're done. Just twirl it until all of that extra chocolate comes off. So if you're finding that your candy melts are hardening way too quick right before you are dipping your cake pops in, add about a teaspoon and a half of flavorless oil, mix it into your candy melts and you should be in business. If this confuses you, just skip this step and pretend I've never said anything like that. Also, if you're feeling extra fancy for the fourth ingredient, you can add some chocolate sprinkles to your cake pops right before the candy melt hardens on top of them. You don't have to do this. You can definitely leave them white as is, but it's entirely up to you. So I'm using white wafers or white candy melts, whatever you call them. Um, they just come in so many names, but you can also use bright white. That would be really pretty. I just chose not to do that. Also, if you tap too much of the chocolate off, you'll kind of see the brown popping through from you know the Oreos, but hey, it's okay. So here I've just melted some chocolate and then I'm just drizzling it on top of my cake pops. All I've done was add it to a Ziploc bag and just cut the tip off and I'm moving back and forth. I think it looks really pretty. Those are like my favorites. So I split them in half. I have half with sprinkles and half with the drizzled chocolate. Just make sure if you're drizzling the hot chocolate that your candy melts are actually hardened before you add the drizzled chocolate on top because if you don't, I'll kind of mix in and that is not okay. I mean, it might be okay. It might have like a marble look, which I think is really pretty. And just like that, you're done. It's three ingredients. Four if you're feeling extra fancy and you wanna add the sprinkles. And then five if you're super fancy and you add the melted chocolate. It's entirely up to you. You do not have to do any of that. Keep it simple if that is what you wanna do. If not, be extra fancy and decorate them however you like. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Make sure you check out my video description 
for the recipe if you need it. And make sure you tag me on social media if you ever recreate any of my recipes. Give this video a big like, make sure you're subscribed, and have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.